Hi guys, this is Joseph Evans here, author of The Secret Sequence Books and The Phoenix Prophecy, The Ember Effect, Soulbound and The Secret of Rain on episode. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a brand new episode feature called Profiles in which you can create a custom avatar and bio for yourself, follow and be followed by other writers and fans and recommend stories to each other. So let's switch over to my phone so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. As you can see, I have episode already loaded up here and we're on the default home shelf where I can see all of the stories I'm currently reading. If I press the menu toggle button, which is up in the top left hand corner, you'll notice that there's a profile option just underneath the home button. So let's go ahead and press that one. And the first thing you're going to see are a few splash screens, which just give you a brief overview of what these profiles do. And all you need to do is press the tick box to agree to the episode terms of service, then click sign in with Google. Once you've done that, you'll be asked to pick a gender. So I'm going to choose the male option and it takes me directly to this uh, customization area where I can change how I look and what I'm wearing. So it looks like it's defaulted to the closet, but before I choose an outfit, I'm going to press the avatar option just on the top of the screen there so I can make my avatar look a little more like the real me. So on the bottom of the screen, we have a load of customization tabs that will allow us to change pretty much every aspect of our avatar. And it's defaulted to the skin tone tab here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the skin tone that's the closest match to me in real life. Of course, you don't have to make an avatar that looks like you. You can be as creative as you want, really. But I imagine a lot of people will want to replicate themselves like I'm doing. So to change my skin tone, I can either tap the left and right side of the screen to cycle through my options or I can simply press my thumb or my finger on the screen and drag to scroll through. I think probably the closest match to me in real life is gonna be this light skin tone. So once I've settled on that, I can go to the bottom of the screen and click the next tab, which is face, and I can alter my face shape. Now, I don't think any of these actually match my face shape in real life. So I'm gonna just go ahead and stick with the square jaw one uh, because that seems to be the most generic of the lot and I'll go over to the next tab which is here and I can choose a hairstyle. I think that the closest match to mine would probably be the subtle faux hawk here so I'm going to choose that one and you'll notice that when you're choosing your hairstyle there'll be a color box in the bottom right corner of the frame and if you click on that it'll give you a few different uh, hair colors to choose from. So I think this color is a little bit lighter than mine in real life and as much as I would love to go for this blasting blue, which uh, is very similar to rings in The Secret of Ring, I think mine is probably, more realistically, this chestnutty color here. So once I've decided on that, let's go across to eyebrows. And I do have very thick eyebrows, so I'm going to choose one of the thick options here. I think thick tapered is probably about right. And then over to eyes. I think I'll go for the classic round style. And once again, you have a color box in the bottom right hand corner. And I have kind of hazel colored eyes, so I'm going to choose this hazily one right in the middle here. Okay, over to nose, and I think I'll choose this button one. Over to lips, and I do have a small mouth, but I think this small round one is a bit too small. Let's go over to this one here, uneven. That looks just about right. And I'm just going to choose a more natural looking color for these. Let's try that one. That looks great. Okay, and that's that. So, of course, if you want to go back and make any changes, you can go to any of the tabs here and make any changes you like. But since I'm happy with that, I'm just going to go back to the top of the screen where it says closet. And I'm going to choose myself an outfit. Okay, so once again, I can either tap to cycle through my options just like this. Or I can simply press my finger or thumb to the screen and drag across. At the moment, the tab at the bottom of the screen lets me know that I'm browsing all of the mail outfit choices. But if I want to filter them, I can press any of the other options like costume here. And it'll only display outfits that are fancy dress, like this pirate one or this Santa one. I think I'm going to go to the casual tab and have a look through these. Okay. I really like this blue jacket here, so I think I'm going to choose that one. And that is my avatar ready to go. When you're happy with everything, just click the word done in the top left hand corner. And voila, there is your brand new episode profile page.
Now the first cool thing you might want to do is change the background color. So just click anywhere on this background here and it will bring up a list of colors for you to choose from. I'm really feeling this red, so I think I'm gonna stick with that one and just press okay. As you can see, the first thing your profile displays is how many story views or reads as a lot of us call them, we have. And I'd like to take this opportunity to give a massive thanks to everyone who has read any of my stories for getting me to a whopping 23.5 million. Thank you so much guys, it really is a dream come true to have that many reads. And just to the right of this number are two buttons, one displaying the number of people you're following and another displaying the number of people who follow you. If I click on the one in the middle, which says following, I can see that my profile has automatically followed the episode official profile, but nobody else as of yet. If I go back and click on the button to the right of that, which says followers, I can see exactly who's following me. And just like Instagram or Twitter, I can very easily follow them back if I want to. All I've got to do is press this plus symbol on the right and it'll change to a tick. Just like that. If I go back now, you can see that it says that I'm following two people. Of course, if you ever want to unfollow someone, you can simply toggle these on or off, just like that. Now, what you're probably gonna want to do is find people to follow. And that's what this symbol in the top right of this screen is for. If I go ahead and press it, it brings up a search bar and a list of suggested users. To check out the profiles of any of these suggested users, uh, simply click on their avatar and you'll be taken to their page. If I want to follow Christine here, I can either press follow underneath her avatar, or I can go back and click the plus symbol. If I want to find someone specific, I just need to press the search bar at the top of the screen here. And let's say I have a friend who reads episodes called Dana, and she wants to share her favorite stories with me. All I need to do is start typing Dana, and even with just two letters, her profile is suggested to me. So I better click on her profile to check that it's her. And if it is her, I can go ahead and follow her and I can see exactly what stories she recommends. Okay, so that's following and followers. Underneath those buttons is where you can write yourself a bio. All you need to do is tap where it says tap here and you'll be presented with a blank box to give visitors to your profile a little bit of info about yourself. You can write anything you want here. You can be short and concise, or you can really go to town and tell the world exactly how awesome you are. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna keep it pretty short. I'm just gonna say, hey guys, this is Joseph Evans, author of The Sacred Sequence Books and The Phoenix Prophecy, The Ember Effect, Soulbound and The Secret of Rain here on episode. Thanks for checking out my profile. I hope you enjoy my stories. This is also a great place to put your social media handles if you want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those in and just click done. Okay, if I scroll down here, I can see that all four of my published stories are listed under the stories I published header, which is awesome for readers who have enjoyed one or two of them and are looking for more which have been written by me. If you're a reader but not a writer, this section will just be blank. And at the very bottom, we have the stories I recommend section. As default, this isn't populated with anything yet, so let's click on this green plus symbol to add some in. As you can see, this is very similar to the following people section. It automatically brings up the stories that you're currently reading as suggestions. So I'm gonna add a few of these. And if I want to recommend a story that's not on the list, I've just gotta press the search bar at the top and start typing. Let's say that I really wanna recommend Juvie. If I type in the letters J-U-V, you can see that it's already appearing in my live search results and I can go ahead and tick it. Once you're done, just press the word done in the top right hand corner of the screen and everyone will now be able to see your recommended stories in your profile. Okay, that's all you need to know guys. I'm sure you'll agree that this is a super exciting new feature. So thanks to the episode team for putting this together for us. It's gonna make it so much easier for us to follow the authors that we love and to connect with our friends within the app itself. If you've enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to my channel. It's youtube.com forward slash author Joseph Evans. Thanks very much for watching guys and I will see you all next time.